That's all we got for round one. And it looks like player two has the lead for the time being. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And keep in mind, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Well, no time like the present. Coming up next, Dumber and Dumber -er 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 2. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, -er, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So, if another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called The Blank Couple. Odd, Otter, Oddest, or Otterist. Now pay attention. Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Players 1, 2, and 3? No, but speaking of otter, otter, get it? You just won! The greatest hits of the San Francisco Otter Choir. Hailed as one of the top three Otter Choirs in the world, the San Francisco Otter Choir will astound you with their covers of Little Red Corvette and The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. Up next, let it go, let it go, let it go. At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a Player three, where's that screw going? Player two, you've been screwed, you got five seconds. Whoa, whoa! Superlative use of the screw, player three. Want a little more money? Players one and three. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah, 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 he can magically be saved. But I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. Bucker up for Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? First spotted in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein. Players 1, 2, and 3. Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. This one's called Wine or Lose. If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive red-skinned mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? <laughs> player one, who do you want to screw? You're screwed, player three. Five seconds to pick an answer. Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. Although to a connoisseur like myself, Malbec is very offensive. <laughs> oh yes, I do say that was quite a bird. Well, player one, looks like your plan backfired. Here's a good one. I want to lick and roll all night.
If, if, if Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it? What? About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 inches deep, or... Player 3? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Players 1 and 2? An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's mouth a giraffe-tongued Gene Simmons could stick it. <laughs> And if Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length of an adult giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, 2,000 gone if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Your house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? The rock. but I wouldn't quit my day job if I were you. In fact, I'd consider getting a second job. Maybe in sales. Yeah, that'd be perfect for you, cuz...